All it right. is losers semis here at CEO. There is four Americans left in the bracket. Man. Punk versus Smug. Winner will play Samurai. Winner will play Snake Eyes. And we'll have ourselves a champion. So I'm going to give the belt to. All right, there's a lot of moves in the crowd. I don't know what's going on out there. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going on out there. Wait, Yo, who anti, is that? Get out of the way. There you go. I love you, Anti. Go make, go make a Twitter video. <laughs> Get out of here. But, yeah, thanks for staying tuned, guys. CEO 2017 almost wrapped up, almost in the books. Once again, like you said before, all Americans left to West Coast players, to East Coast players. Yeah. This is going to be good. I bet you nobody would have believed you if you had said, yo, we're going to have Snake Eyes in Grand Finals waiting. Two tournaments in a row, Snake Eyes in Grand Finals. Last time he was defeated by Knuckle Dew, who is no longer left in the tournament. And everybody else left, he has also beaten, right? He just beat Punk at uh, E3. Yeah, the that invitation. That happened over there. He's beaten Smug before. He obviously just beat Samurai. So everybody left, Snake does have a win against, at least in recent memory. So it's one of those things where he's in prime position to take this tournament. And someone's going to have to step up if they want to take him out. So one of the last times we actually saw Smug play Punk was at E-League, and they had an amazing set. Like, that set was actually ridiculous. Oh, yes. Yeah. Super, super <laughs> close. Uh, it was like nail-biter of a set. Punk made a pretty, pretty uh, candid speech after where he was like, oh, just another day. Another day. All in the sake of interest. Yeah, three hats on deck for, for uh, Punk. As you can see, he's building. And, uh, if he takes out uh, smug here, that'll be one for each person he's beaten in this top eight so far. Look, I feel like oh. at this point now that if Punk is purposely going to lose this, it's, no, it's not worth the stress. We saw how much he was sweating versus Gachikun. So I feel like, come on, man, I get it. You're that good. Just beat everybody so we don't have to, you know, have these nail-biting matches. And this pyramid he's building up there. Smug, he, he's got some questions for him. You know, he's not sure if he's all about it. But, uh, yeah, no more headwear for Smug. He's keeping it pretty pretty simple, pretty straightforward. No more crown on his head. I don't know what was said right there, but uh, oh. Smug was laughing too hard. Oh, wow. That's what you present him with? <laughs> the tassel? That's how cool you That's how close you are. Well, you can touch my tassel. And who knows where that tassel has been. Yeah, I wouldn't trust it. Yeah, good, good call from Smug. Somebody get that man some Purell. Especially after the night Punk had. Yeah, he had a, he had a gnarly one. Still punk with a natural disrespect. Now let's see how this set plays out this time. Oh man, there's a lot of smiling going on in that stage. Two guys who are very, very familiar with each other. Yes, indeed. The losers semis of this bracket. Punk versus Smug. And you know, these two, we've seen them play a lot. I think this is the first time I've seen them play uh, in this patch in a tournament oh, yeah. setting, a very serious one. setting. And it's gonna be interesting, right? Because, you know, these two, you know that in this this patch, there's no longer Jump Tech OS, right. which is a big nerf to both of these characters' defense. Stand medium kick, and you see Punk. And just using that step kick. Exactly, making it an issue. And the answer is, when does Smug find a whip punish? When does he find a jump over it, right? Something to deal with it. You saw him just stand in place that one time. And look at the, the amount of trades that's happening right now, and Punk only using two buttons this entire set so far. They're finally gonna get a beast skill. A buffer from Smug, he's got the corner, there it is. Ooh, gets the throw. Another one. Yeah, the wake up button, and he's Ooh. so good about knowing when to do that. Wow, no upper. Jump away, oh, that's a punish. Takes the knockdown, and has the throw. Now, there's still V-Trigger available for Smug. One hit, and Punk can take this. He's got full CA on deck. I like that swing just to show Punk that he's still awake. Trigger runs out, finds the EX dash punches. I don't blame him. Spin that little meter. And that's one of the first times he's actually brought that out, right? Uh, in this set, there's been a lot of button, walk a button, walk a button from Punk, and that's how you kind of stop it, right? Oh, counter hit. What's crazy is Punk had full control up until the end of that round, and it made him lose. Back throw that time. He just did the fierce into the shoulder. Yep, just like that. Next time he did fierce dash throw. Mixing Smug up here. He doesn't want to disrespect it because if he gets hit by that shoulder, 
trade. Obviously, it's a big combo. Very clinical with the buttons being used here by Punk. The great life building up again. A lot of hope there on that beat. He needs to be careful. There's the activation after the target and a back dash for Punk. Oh, back to that step kick pressure again. Trigger is active. So Punk being really brave. Go for it again. Follows with a stand roundhouse. Want to see what's going to happen. Do you see Punk going hard on the offense? Still a dangerous position for Smug. He's got the deficit and no more V trigger. Oh man, this medium kick is such an issue. It's so much great damage adding up. It's just pestering him at all time. He can't find a good whip punish. And now, Chip is definitely a factor right now. Oh, do you want to save that critical art? You still have another round in this first match. Oh my god. No, my, how is he doing this? Oh, oh yeah, is that how he feels? Yo, they actually looked at each other in, in I, real life. In real life, they looked at each other to confirm what was happening. And there it is. Close it out. Oh, and he's not happy about that one. Final round. Final. And the laughs. Smug questioning. Roundhouse again. The X dash punch just started. And you see Smug just holding forward at this point, trying to get into that space, trying to be disrespectful just so he can start his own pressure. Oh, wow. Tail end of roundhouse hits. V skill, one V reversal on deck for both of these guys now. Oh, oh just shy of it. Oh, he doesn't get the combo, actually. This is breathing room for, for Smug, but not a lot. Dash punch again. Goes for that V skill just to get through it. One big hit can do it here for either player's activation. Both of them in V-Trigger. Oh, wow. Opens them up low. Overhead, Overhead. reset. Uh, and there it is. The delayed down jab to counter hit. Balrog win. And now you see Smug. Okay with the outcome of that last match. This is the 21st Punk. Sly looks. player two. Uh -oh. one, one level, hat. one level. That's all you get. That's all he needs, he says. <laughs> <laughs> well, one is off. One is off. Fires away the thumbs up. It's like the, the training weights, right? You got to take them off one at a time. This is true. All right, take thumbs one. up. Smug having a good Fight. time up there. First game goes to Smug, though. Crouch strong again, just to try and get in there. Finally gets that throw, coupled with that chip damage. A sizable chunk of life. Walk up throw from Smoggy challenges and the meaty low. Oh, that dash low again. I like the swing of the roundhouse, just, just in case you want to start throwing out that standing medium kick again. Great punish from Smog. And one thing that I've noticed in this tournament so far, a lot more people, because there's no more throw tech OS, backdashing. Oh, yeah. avoid pressure, right? Oh, what a neutral jump. Big upper. Wow, I look at the life differential right now. Oh, gets that standing fierce. Trigger still active. Gets the counter hit when you spin that bar. There you go. Full critical art. Bar like a thousand HP now. It's not enough. Stun still a factor goes down just a little bit. Smug, not afraid, just holding forward. Gets the confirm off a crouching strong and takes the first round. Oh, and Game Punk two. avoiding the eye contact. Don't look into his eyes. Don't look into Pikachu's eyes either. Cute overload, might ensue. Crouching strong again, and what a read by Smug to take that last round back. Oh, back dash, it's a no-go, he's got it. Other side, could be stunned, no one missed. Back throw will do it. Neutral jump, roundhouse spins a little meter. And there it is, a very clean round and a great response from Punk. Very difficult there, after that standing light kick, the guess is rough. And now you see Punk just walk up with that crouching medium punch. See, again, a backdash from Smug to escape. Try to catch that. You know, if they go for a throw bait, if they go for a delayed button, that backdash will get you hit airborne or let you escape. Oh, stand 
roundhouse again. And like I said, like you pointed out before, that gray life definitely a factor right now. Nice anti air to stop that jump out of the corner. Gets the throw. Ooh, what a block on the overhead. There's another V skill. Trigger is active with the smoke. Big damage on this. Not going to be stunned, but it's very close. The throw tech so key. And there it is. It should be 2 0 smug. I think he just said, What is wrong with me? Uh oh. You know that there's one too many hanging up there. There it is. All right, Charizard. Obviously, the strongest of the Pokemon that we saw come out with my boy Chris G. Wait a minute, Steve. Does he still have a tag on top of that? Yo, man. Standard head Wait regulations. Wait a minute. What's happening up there? there? All right. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> now we've got ourselves the set. And you see Smug. Sizing up the hat. Making sure it looks nice. The Charizard tassels. Oh, God. Wiping off the Wawa. <laughs> the sandwich he had earlier. All right, you see him go back to that, uh, that round setup to kind of reset, take a breather or two. And Punk on the ropes right now. I mean, oh. he's having a good time. <laughs> the sportsmanship is out of control. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Offering him the water just in case. And then the Eevee hat. He's trying to disarm him right now. He's trying his best to get Smug out of the groove. Exactly. Not working. I right, call one. one last chance Fight. to stay alive in this tournament. Up, down two games against Smug here. Fierce was wild. Oh. Step kick again. And now a lot more offense, more smothering from Punk. Try not to give uh, Smug the space to find those whip punishes with the dash punch. We've seen a lot of rounds start off just like this. And all it takes is one touch in the trigger. And the next thing you know, Smug's hitting buttons. Because that space allows him to get the EX dash punch, the whip punish on the heavy kick. Get the B-Skill walk up throw here with Smug. Yeah. Gotta be very careful now. V-Trigger available for Barog. Small series walk up throw here from Smug again. Tries to hit that roundhouse, gets beat up by that crouching jab from Karen. Activates and the throw. One more will do it. Oh, the tap. Back dash to get out of there. And activation. All right. If he keeps him standing here, he can CA to chip him. Yep. Did he jump back? <gasps> what a real. Oh he God, missed the he combo. It. Oh, man. Yeah, that's exactly what he should have done. But that was a now he's in a bad situation though. He does have the roundy going into this third game, but no resources, no EX meter, nothing. Crowd strong. Trent dashes up with a retaliation from Smug. He hits a button. Does not stop the onslaught from Punk. Oh, Doesn't have any more meters, so he can't stun. Back throw will be stunned. Roundhouse blue gang kicks, not enough. Uh oh. And the down jab, all right, nice and clean. Stop Four. that walk up potential throw from Smug. Uh oh. All right, he's got another helmet equipped. <laughs> Gotta be safe out here. You don't want to take that uh that overhead. Yeah, Pikachu has plus ten to electricity resistance. <laughs> So maybe not a Laura pick from Smug. So Smug loses that game. And that round, that whole match went a lot faster than this whole set has been going so far. Exactly. And uh, you got to wonder if Smug can turn this back around. He's got to deal with all the buttons that are coming out from Punk in the neutral. Uh, it's hard for him to step back and create space and find those whiff punishing because he's just walking so far forward before using them. Yeah, you see him just harassing with that standing medium kick, standing light kick, try to round jump away and use his roundhouse. And he's still using the skill on block just to scare people. He still gets a little V-trigger, a little V-meter. Yeah. Finds the hit, it's counter hit light kick, which will combo in a crouching medium punch. Ooh, moving in and out, Smug doesn't take the bait, but the counter hit. The dash up, crouching strong, take to get to the corner. 
And that'll be a stun. Builds a bar. To jump roundhouse again. What side? The other side. And that should be the round. No meter spent. Two EX bars in the chamber. As he is signifying there, it can be on either side and it is difficult to block. That's the sign language. I studied a little bit of sign language. Tenko just gets a small reset. Corpse pushed to the corner. Nice interrupt here from Smug. Looking the answer here, but a, a nice interruption actually. Punk moving a little too much with that command dash. Walk up round. Gets the fourth throw. Ooh, gets the crush, counter fierce, and the trigger activation. That stun bar is going to go down. And there's a nice chunk of right up there on that bar. Trying to throw very close to stun. One more hit, and there it is. The reversal stuff. The game one. Punk 2-2 two, two with Smug. Oh, he's going back. He's going all the way back under the fort. Telling. Mr. Smug, he's not ready. He's not ready for this Pokemon team, man. All Standard. three of them, locked and loaded. This is the Standard Pokemon battle Blue format. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The power up. Although one's missing now. Yep, there it is. All right, he's got to figure it out here. Man, he's having some trouble. Yeah, all right. Yep, okay. Helping Almost. him out. Almost. There you go the brighter side of the FGC. It's not all fighting. Sometimes it's Pokemon, you know? Yeah. And sometimes the Pokemon fight. Standard regulation Pokemon rules. Man, he is really having some trouble up there. Yeah, I mean. Oh, this, yeah, come on. You got to coordinate this. You got to slide the Pikachu down a little bit. All right, there it is. Okay. All right. Looking a little messy up top. He's kind of looking like one of the Splatoon oh, Squid Kid things on the top of his head, right? Final match between these two, two apiece. Oh, what a whiff punish there by Smug. Good series of buttons there. Life still about to eat. A few tags. What a confirm. Oh, double like kick Tenko. Punk looking solid here. The Ooh. crush. Oh, does he get the stun on the B skill? Does he challenge with the uppercut? No, it's a button. E reversal. Walk up, tick throw again with that standing like it. Oh, and he spends the bar, the fear reversal immediately, and a quick round. Punk, I feel like it's been four straight. Maybe five. Round two. He turned this all the way around. And now the set looking like it's in control for Punk. Set point here. Not before Smug spins some of those EX bars. Swinging for the fences with that roundhouse. See Smug trying to walk back, and that's where that crouching medium kick lands. Crush counter. One more for stun, there it is. To jump in with that jump in roundhouse reset to the other side. And yes, and Punk brings it all the way back. Uh oh, wait, is it going on there? What's happening on stage? Oh no, it, it couldn't quite make it on top. Yeah, it's all right. It, there it is. Oh, he looks like he belonged under there. It's okay. It's all right. Nice camaraderie from the <laughs> from these two. Smug. However, goes home. Hits the road, water bottle with him. What a showing though for Smug. What a, a ridiculously good showing for Smug. Yeah, this third is a great place, team. Third place at Combo Breaker, fourth place here.